I am about to blow your mind with this new Canva feature that they have just rolled out this year. I cannot wait to show it with you guys because I have been playing with this feature and it's game changing. It really is. So if you are interested in learning about the new Magic Write tool, watch this video because not only am I going to show you how it works, I saw it personally and it took me a while to kind of practice with it, but I kept seeing people on Facebook talking about how great it was. And so I want to show you how you can use this in your business and make your life so much simpler when it comes to brainstorming, outlining, creating content, things like that. So come on, girl, let's, let's hop on the laptop so I can show y'all, okay? Okay, so as you can see, we are on the Canva home screen and you see this on the side where it says Canva documents. This is also, I wanna say something new that Canva has created that will allow you to create documents essentially within Canva, kind of like Google Docs or like Microsoft Word. So if you have not used this feature before, when you first click on it, it's actually going to give you like a training and a tutorial on how to use this. And that's how I was able to navigate and learning how to use the, for one, the Canva document. And then also it's gonna teach you how to access the Magic Write tool, okay? So here's the Magic Write tool. If you click on this plus sign right here, then it'll give you access to that. Once you go through the training the first time, exit out of the document and then click on a new document and then it'll look like this. And then you'll be able to do it like from a blank page. So as you can see, when you click on it, it tells you to write in whatever it is that you need. The more specific you are, the better it is. I have noticed that. If you are very specific about what you write in here, it will give you the details that you are looking for. So it gives you a couple examples that you can try. Um, brainstorm ideas for marketing a new running shoe. So let's just do this one out of curiosity. And so then it's going to generate and it will give you some ideas for marketing a new running shoe and explain the benefits. So let's see what it comes up with. Boom. Okay. So notice how it gives you a step-by-step. -step. So create an online ad campaign showing athletes using the shoe. Then I'm not going to read all of that, but if you want to pause and read, it literally gives you a whole breakdown of how to like just brainstorming ideas for marketing on here. So I think that this is a game changer. This is a game changer because when you are brainstorming ideas, sometimes you just need help with wording something. You need help with coming up with just a ton of ideas that you can kind of curate and then make it to your own. And so the more specific you are with the Canva Magic Write tool, the better the outcome. So what I did was I curated some different topics that I've already kind of pre-put in here just to see what it would come up with and i think that this would be very beneficial for you to see because you can use how i'm showing you the examples in your business so you're going to see my notes in this because i'm trying to keep this simple so just keep that in mind but you can use this to brainstorm content ideas youtube title ideas and create your descriptions so one thing that i struggle with when i'm creating my youtube content i always kind of do the description last and it's almost like an afterthought and i want to get really better with doing that but with creating a better one but i want to use this now because at the end of the day the description is not like the description is really good for seo and like being found or whatever but at the same time if I can just use this to create a quick description for my podcast episodes and for my YouTube videos, this is gonna be great. So the first one that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna copy this one and we are going to see what it comes up with. So my first one that I want them to do is, and I'm gonna actually alter this just a little bit. I want them to write a list of, and I'm gonna be specific, 10 video ideas um let's see that will help people start an online business so we're going to see what the magic right tool comes up with when it comes to that boom okay so you see that it came up with 10 different video ideas that will help people start an online business how to create a website for your small business tips for starting an online business i mean like pause it to read it but that 
is game changing. Because when you are running out of content ideas, but you know what category you're trying to teach on, you don't even have to use these topics verbatim, but you use these ideas and then you come up with your own content based on those ideas. So this is, I love it. We're gonna keep going. So here's another one that you can do as well. So we're gonna do a description for a YouTube video. So I already have this in here. So write a description for my YouTube video. In the video, I will be teaching business owners how to overcome burnout. So let's see what the magic right tool comes up with for this. And if you see me looking over there, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, but I'm recording in two different places, so. Okay, boom. So you see that it created a whole description. Uh, it created a whole description for the video that I'm supposed to be creating, right? Now, obviously go like read it and make sure it aligns with what you're teaching. But this is a game changer. I didn't have to do no thinking when it comes to this. This was just like a click of a button. So. That's why I said this could be like your virtual assistant or your personal assistant because it's going to be creating some stuff where you have to really do some heavy lifting um, thinking and like curating when it comes to this type of stuff. So let's do a couple more. The next one I'm going to do, um, I want them to write an email for my new email subscribers, include a call to action. I want the call to action to for them to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We all need that intro when we are, you know, welcoming new em emailers to our list. So let's see what they come up with when it comes to that. And be patient because sometimes it takes a minute and sometimes it happens really fast. So this one happened really fast. So let's read it real quick because it's kind of short and sweet. So welcome, thank you for joining my email list and becoming a part of my community. I'm thrilled to have you here and I look forward to connecting with you in the future. I know you will find lots of valuable information and resources in my emails that will help you in your journey. I would also love for you to join me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post lots of useful content, inspir inspiring stories and fun updates. I'm so glad you're here and I'm excited to stay connected. Warmest regards and then your name. Come on, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that you don't wanna use that in your business. I wanna use this as an email right now. And all you have to do is add your personality or you can use it just like this. Like this is, if you are creating automated emails to go out to your new clients, I mean, come on, this is great stuff. And it's not like you're copying someone else's content per se. Like you're literally just letting it do the heavy list lifting that will take you time to just curate on your own. And that's why I love this feature so much. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the next one that I wanna show you guys. So y'all know I love planning out content. So what I wanna do this time is I'm going to have them create a 30 day content plan for my Instagram. I want to build an authority in my industry and then I let it know that I am a wellness coach. Now, obviously I'm not a wellness coach. I'm just making this stuff up, but let's see what it comes up with. All right, let's see. Imagine letting AI create a content plan for your Instagram. <laughs> you know how long It'd be taking for me to create a content plan sometimes. Longer than it's gonna take this thing to get me a 30 day content plan. Let's just say that, okay? Couple seconds, now look, let's break this down, okay? Notice how it tells you each day. It didn't do 30 though, it did 29, but that's close enough, okay? That's close enough, we're gonna run, we're gonna go with it. And look what it says, introduce yourself and your mission as a wellness coach. Share a success story from one of your clients. Come on, pause to read the whole thing because I'm not gonna read all of these. But you see why this is such a powerful tool? This is a powerful tool. If you learn how to use this, this is a powerful tool. Like I was talking about earlier, you can also brainstorm ideas like the sales copy. You can brainstorm sales copy for your ads. You can have it come up with call to action ideas. So that way you know how to end your post. It's unlimited what you can do with it. 
You can have it brainstorm scripts. So if you're doing discovery calls and you kind of need like an outline or idea of how you can vet your, your prospects on the phone or on a Zoom call or whatever, you can have this give you some ideas and some templates essentially on what you can say, what questions you can ask. So in this next part, I want to show you guys some examples of creating sales copy, creating call to actions and creating scripts. Um, the first one I wanna do is create sales copy for my free masterclass. This class is teaching the five steps to become a content creator. Include a call to action for them to sign up today. The masterclass is only available for 24 hours. Tell them to click the link to enroll. Now you see how specific I was about that. I want it to be very specific because like I said at the beginning, the more specific you are, the better it's going to come out. So let's go ahead and copy this over there real quick. I'll put this in here. You see how fast that was? That was really fast. So welcome to the world of content creation, ready to take your skills to the next level. Join us for this exclusive masterclass available for the next 24 hours only and learn the five essential steps you need to become a successful content creator from creating content that inspires and engages your audience to mastering the art of storytelling and growing your brand. You will be, you'll learn to become a content creator master. So don't wait, click the link to enroll now and get ready to take your content creation to the top. like left no crumbs, okay? And what I have even done is I have put in the same copy. Like if I'm like, okay, I don't really like that one. Let's try to see what else it comes up, comes up with. Paste it again, and then it'll come up with a whole new thing. <laughs> it'll come up with something brand new with the same information. So we're going to create a list of 10 call to action ideas that will create urgency to purchase my digital products. So let's see what it comes up with for this, because I know a lot of people struggle with giving people a call to action that also creates urgency. So that's why I think that this is really big because this will allow you to put this at the end of a lot of your different posts and also create that urgency as well. Okay, so let's back up. So I actually switched the wording because I felt like it was coming up with the wrong thing. I think that it misunderstood what I was asking. So that's why the more specific you are, the better the turnout. So at the beginning, I said that I create, I wanted it to create a list of call to action ideas that will help create urgency to purchase my digital product. But as I'm looking at them, I noticed that it's giving me ideas of things that I can do to promote the actual offer. And that's not necessarily what I was looking for. So what I wrote instead is create a list of 10 call to actions instead of just saying ideas um, that will create urgency, da, 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 da. And now you can see the call to actions because this is actually what I meant. So like, hurry, get your copy now. Um, be the first one to own this product. These are calls to action ideas and you can utilize this in your sales copy whenever you are making Instagram posts or any type of social media posts and stuff. So that's what I was going for. I'm going to do one more on this list and then I'm going to try to do another really big one that I feel is really helpful for you guys. So I'm going to do this one, create a list of questions that I can ask prospects to see if they would be a good fit for my coaching program. So I feel like this would be really good for um, coaches. So let's see what it comes up with. So as you can see, it came up with the list. What goals would you like to achieve through this program? What challenges have you faced? Um, what have you done to try to reach these goals in the past? How do you prefer to receive feedback? And then you could just pause it to read it. This is something that if you are at the beginning stages of your business and you know that you need to have like a vetting process or whatever, you can ask it to do something like this and be more specific with the industry that you're in. So that way you can make sure that you're asking the proper questions until you can get a coach or until you can get someone to help you in this area. This is helpful enough if you are brand new in a coaching space and you need help with asking the right questions to get prospects to book or know if they're a good fit for your programs or your services. Okay, so 
I think that you have a good understanding of how the Magic Write tool works. So I'm gonna quickly go over just some more details or some more ideas of how you can use this in your business, whether you're a coach, whether you're a content creator or whatever. I'm not, I'm probably not gonna show it again because I think you understand. I would really recommend you just kind of play around with it, but you can outline content bullets so like write five steps for starting a keto diet, for example, write five stages of starting a business. And it may not be that you don't know the stages. Maybe you just want to see another opinion of something that you may have left out. So that's why I really love that you don't have to use this verbatim. Like you don't have to literally take this and please be, please use integrity when you're using this platform. Cause I see this being a very dangerous game if the wrong person start utilizing this, you know, but hey, that's gonna be with anything that is created. Just make sure you use integrity. I wouldn't recommend you literally copy and pasting like a blog post that you have this to curate. Like you wanna make it personable. You wanna make sure that you're utilizing your authority in the space. But like, if you wanna make sure you don't leave out a certain topic, I do that all the time when I'm going over tips. I will research in that space just to make sure that there's nothing else that I left out that I would like to also discuss in there that maybe have slipped my mind. Also, you can create an outline for your speaking engagement. I did this as an example for my fiance. He's starting a speaking, well, not a speaking business, but he's becoming a speaker. And so I just was curious, like how would this work for someone that's doing speaking? And it created an outline for his start, middle, finish, like the whole thing. So I thought that that was really, really useful and really powerful for people that may be new in a space. You can also brainstorm name ideas for like your coaching programs, your eBooks, your guides, your memberships. I will say though, it will give you a list and you can say what the program is about, what's gonna be included in the program and all of that. And it will come up with a list of name ideas. But I wanna make sure that if you're going to come up with name ideas using this, that you then make sure that the name is not trademarked because you don't want to come up you don't want to use a name that it comes up with and it's great and then you find out that the name is trademarked and that's in anything that you do any type of name that you decide you want to use for anything you always want to go on the trademark website and just search for that term and if no one has it then you're you're all set but it'll at least give you some name ideas i know people struggle with coming up with facebook group name ideas with their coaching program names. Like those are the things that people really struggle with. And I think that this will really help in that area. Also, I mentioned this before, you can have an outline your email sequences, giving you the step-by-step -step of what each email needs to be to nurture that new email subscriber on your list. So to summarize your ideas, when it's jumbled in your head, use this magic right tool. So let me know, I feel like I'm rambling, but I'm really excited about this feature. I'm gonna keep playing around with this. I'll probably have more videos on my page in reference to using this and showing you how to use this in your business, but drop a fire emoji in the comments if you made it this far in a video and you felt that this video was helpful and that you're gonna start playing around with this new feature. Okay, because I'm about to get out this video and I'm going to start playing around with this feature as well again. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!